I don't yeah. know. Joe Gorga says we're all going to find out and they're working with whoever. And there's some evil force that has some takedown effort to take the two of them down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, Let's wait. We'll wait and see. Yeah. I mean, I think just the fact that Teresa's being honest and people are coming out and talking about what there it is that they're doing, you know, like, yeah, I'm people ask me, I'm telling the truth. Like people oh, ask my. me all the time on dms on you know people ask me all the time things and i'll answer them honestly and i'll tell them i'll tell them exactly right. how what i think you know i always have you know just the mm -hmm. fact that it's like i said i'm not just now speaking out go read my you've been blog. saying it all along jacqueline you've never it changed your song it just it just picked up attention because of what's going the show just started airing because whatever i'm not trying to like jump on there you know whatever i don't have to do that like, no you know i don't no. need the money i don't have to i'm not going back to the show i have no skin in the game like that i'm right. just like right. this is the story of my life what has happened what i've witnessed you want to ask me a question i'm going to answer it i i don't 1, think percent and you have every right to not answer air it. my opinion and not talk about anything just because i'm off the show if someone asks me i'm going to talk about it this is and true sorry about so that's just how I feel. I'm not looking for anything. I'm not looking. You have no motive. You have no motive, I'm the, Jacqueline. I'm even the last person to look for fame. I like, I'm the one who hides from that stuff. I have like social anxiety. Like I like my yeah. life, like how it is, but you know what? I love talking to people. I love answering fans. I yeah. like, I, I like, I like doing it. Jacqueline's so. like me. She likes to stay in the house. Jacqueline and I stay in the house a lot. I mean, I go out, you know, post outfit of the day, but most of the time I'm home. You know, you don't yeah. see too much. I wish I had more, like more times to go out of the day, but we're more yeah. homebodies. I used to yeah. go out a lot yeah. more. Jacqueline used to go out a lot more, but we're more homebodies now at this point. Yeah. Right, Jack? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, staying home is always a good thing. Yes. <laughs> What about, do you think, cause like Melissa was on watch what happens. You saw this Kim where she says, you know, I feel so bad about Kathy and Richie. Ugh. Like, do you think now because Teresa went to lunch with you, do you think the Gorgas are now like, let's see who, who have we wronged? Uh, a Kim D B Kathy and Richie C. I don't know. Do you think like Melissa and Joe are now looking for their own Jacqueline to go have lunch with? I think that they are trying to rally their allies. I think that they're like, what if Teresa makes peace with Kathy? We better make peace with them before they yeah. or before Teresa does. You know, oh, we better get Kim D on our team before yep. Teresa does. Aren't they trying to like get Oh yeah. Back? They were saying we love Kim D. We love Kim D. They, they approached one of my friends at a party and said, Tell Kim we love Kim D. You know, don't talk about yeah, they us. They love, love you. They love me. They love me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And, and my friend, yeah, and my friend goes, excuse me, who are you talking about? You think I'm going to tell Kim what to do and what to say? She goes, you know, I, I can't. She goes, no one tells Kim what to say. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't fall for that. I don't fall for that crap. No, and, they don't love me. And you think the same, Jacqueline, that they might be trying to reach out to Kim or, or Kathy? And Yeah, they're just like, oh, my God, like, who else like that we screwed up, screwed over is going to like start talking and uh we better like make amends with all these people because we yeah. can't have people talking about us and you know ruining our yeah. you know our front yep i <laughs> agree what, what are you gonna say kim if they reach out to you hi how are you i'm good i hope, hope everything's fine hope you don't you know hope your lawsuit goes well but don't tell me what to say don't tell me what to do that's all and, <laughs> and honestly i'm glad you love me i don't believe that but let's let bygones be bygones yeah. like I'm not going to be, if I saw like when me and you, David, saw them out, hey, goodbye, hi, whatever. I'm not going to go fighting with them in public or anything, but I don't, I don't believe their bullshit that they love me. I mean, Melissa talked so much shit about me, especially when her and Teresa were on the stage with Ziggy and Dolores. I, we watched it. They, she was vicious to me. You know, all of a sudden now she has this newfound love. Fuck that. I'm not, you know, one thing about me, I'm not stupid. So, but I'm not going to, like, like I said, I wouldn't fist fight with her in the middle of a, a you know, a restaurant. I'm fine. Hi, goodbye. And that's right. it. Yeah. That's yeah, all. Yeah. I just walk right past them. Yeah. Well, them. that's it. Well, that's your situation. And pr that probably would happen at this point with me and them because they know that I'm not stopping what I've been saying. So that, that we yeah. better, we'd be better off if I did just walk right past them. Yeah. So, yeah. What about... 
I'm not trying to like take them down. I'm just no. when people ask me, I'm answering the question, you know, the truth. Me too. Because me too. I'm, I'm not, not trying to take anybody down either. You know, she <laughs> she flipped on me, tried to make me look bad with things she knew that weren't true. And she just let me take the heat on things and do, you know, and I'm just like, wow, they're really scumbags. Like I had no idea like how shitty when I was a good friend to them. Like yeah. I literally gave her a heads up every time we filmed a scene, I let her know what we filmed, what was yeah. going on. Like he would like hide things from me. Um, and then I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know. I think she got jealous that they were trying to make Teresa and I make up. On definitely. She definitely. She felt threatened. Maybe yeah, she, she was worried. Threatened. Maybe she felt worried that if Teresa and I really made up that I would start telling her all the things. Yes. But I would, yes. I wouldn't have done that. I, no, I know you wouldn't that. have. And I would have tried to let them have their piece on camera. But don't, you know, stab me in the back, you know, no. multiple times. Is yeah, that she what did, she, she did Jacqueline really dirty. She really did. Dirty. Jacqueline well, was a good friend to her. I was going to say, why do you think it was like she stabbed you in the back and did you dirty because like what for her own storyline? Or was it uh, she was obsessed with Teresa and didn't want you to be close to Teresa? Or was it or, or was it like, let me like get Teresa. everybody off the show. Let me get everyone the, off the, the show. The whole point was she didn't like Teresa. It was all an act on camera right. behind the right. scenes. She wasn't loyal to Teresa at all or no. her brother. They, I knew they didn't like each other. They were faking it on camera, which is what I told her to do. Make it work on camera. Right. She, I, I don't know the reason she turned, but I think it's because she got jealous that they were pushing a friendship with Teresa and I so much that they were being close on camera. And, and me and Teresa, the Lucy and Ethel being friends, yes. probably would have yes. a lot of attention that she wanted on her. She wanted to be the Lucy to her Ethel, maybe. Correct. I don't know. I, she got I believe that. that that they were pushing a friendship with Teresa and I. And then in the back of her head, she's like, if they really become friends, what if she tells her all the shit that we've been yes. saying? I that's so I, it. I think it was just like, let me flip the switch here, yep. plant the narrative. It's Jacqueline jealous that we're talking when like mm -hmm. I was never first of all, anybody knows me, I am not that friend. My friends could be friends with my ex, you know, people that I I'm no longer friends with. You could be friends with them. I don't care. I'm not like that at all. Right. I I never jealous of my friends. I'm not a hoard, a friend hoarder. I'm not a. I'm not like that. I, like I don't get jealous like that. Neither do I. I don't and tell people what to do with their lives. It's like if you're friendly with them, that's on you. Just don't talk shit about me while you're talking to them. Exactly. Like one, one of my good friends right now is really good friends with Melissa Gorgon. Now I just like okay, you know. You can be friends with Melissa, just like don't talk keep to my, her about. Yeah. Keep my name out of your mouth. Her. That's all. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just don't tell her what we talk about. I'm right. Sorry, exactly. You know? Exactly. You know, go ahead. So, for her to sit there and say that, like, oh, I, Jacqueline's acting weird now. I think, like, I don't know. She has a problem with us being. Fr it's like, what are you talking about? I'm the one who told you to freaking, you know. And I knew she didn't like Teresa behind the scenes. Unbelievable. So for her to say that is her planting seeds to the audience, yeah. which like, why would you do that to me? Like, I've had your back. I've like protected you. I've stood up to Teresa for you. Sure. When I felt like Teresa was wrong about things, I would tell Teresa. 1000%. And because that's the friend I am. If you're doing